Hi, I'm Mr. Mike. Do you hear that? It sounds like they're cutting down trees. I like trees. Well, Dr. Seuss has a story about another creature who liked trees. The Lorax. He loves trees. Are you ready for story time? Let's go. Here's a story about someone who has a mustache a little like mine. And like me, he loves trees. Get ready for this nice story. The Lorax by Dr. Seuss Way back in the days when the grass was still green, and the pond was still wet, and the clouds were still clean, and the song of the swoomy swans rang out in space. One morning I came to this glorious place, and I first saw the trees, the truffle trees, the bright colored tufts of the truffle trees, mile after mile in the fresh morning breeze. And under the trees I saw brown barba roots frisking about in their barba loot suits as they played in the shade and ate truffle of fruits. From the ripulous pond came the comfortable sound of the humming fish humming while splashing around. But those trees, those trees, those truffle of trees, all my life I've been searching for trees such as these. The touch of their tufts was much softer than silk, and they had the sweet smell of fresh butterfly milk. I felt a great leaping of joy in my heart. I knew just what to do. I unloaded my cart. In no time at all, I had built a small shop. Then I chopped down a truffle tree with one chop. And with great skillful skill, and with great speedy speed, I took the soft tuft, and I knitted a thneed. The instant I'd finished, I heard a guzzump. I looked. I saw something pop out of the stump of the tree I'd chopped down. It was sort of a man. Describe him? That's hard. I don't know if I can. He was shortish, and oldish, and brownish, and mossy, and he spoke with a voice that was sharpish and bossy. Mister, he said with a sawdusty sneeze, I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees. I speak for the trees, for the trees have no tongues. And I'm asking you, sir, at the top of my lungs. He was very upset as he shouted and puffed, What's that thing you've made out of my truffle tuft? Look, Lorax, I said, there's no cause for alarm. I chopped just one tree. I am doing no harm. I'm being quite useful. This thing is a thneed. A thneed's a fine something that all people need. It's a shirt, it's a sock, it's a glove, it's a hat. But it has other uses, yes. Far beyond that. You can use it for carpets, for pillows, for sheets, or curtains, or covers for bicycle seats. The Lorax said, Sir, you are crazy with greed. There is no one on earth who would buy that fool's need. I meant no harm. I most truly did not. But I had to grow bigger, so bigger I got. I biggered my factory, I biggered my roads, I biggered my wagons, I biggered the loads of the thneeds I shipped out. I was shipping them forth to the south, to the east, to the west, to the north. I went right on biggering, selling more thneeds, and I biggered my money, which everyone needs. And at that very moment we heard a loud whack. From outside in the fields came a sickening smack of an axe on a tree. Then we heard the tree fall, the very last truffle a tree of them all. 
and all that the Lorax left here in this mess was a small pile of rocks with the one word, unless. Whatever that meant, well, I just couldn't guess. That was long, long ago, but each day since that day, I've sat here and worried and worried away. Through the years, while my buildings have fallen apart, I've worried about it with all of my heart. But now, says the Onceler, now that you're here, the word of the Lorax seems perfectly clear. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. So, catch, calls the Onceler. He lets something fall. It's a truffle seed. It's the last one of all. You're in charge of the last of the truffle seeds, and truffle trees are what everyone needs. Plant a new truffle, treat it with care, give it clean water, and feed it fresh air. Grow a forest, protect it from axes that hack. Then the Lorax and all of his friends may come back. The End I hope you like this story, but pretty, pretty please, would you like to help the Lorax and me take care of the trees? Thank you. See you next story time. I speak for the trees.